guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Luna. I am coming to you from a different location and we're gonna try it out for a couple videos. I have some Christmas hauls to do. Uh, we're gonna pretend like behind me is all organized and work on this angle, but there's a big old wall right here, like a uh, pillar. So we'll figure it out, we'll get us situated. First things first, don't touch the table. It makes the tripod rattle. We have our Christmas cup and our Christmas hat. Well, headband really, and we are ready. We're gonna do two different hauls. I'll put them in two videos just because there's a lot going on. Um, but I have Target and I have Marshall's TJ Maxx. Uh, home goods. Yeah, Marshall's TJ Mac Home Goods. They're all the same store, really. All right. First and foremost, Target has an advent calendar. Sniff Snacks advent calendar. Uh, Omega Packed Cat Treat Salmon and Seaweed Recipe. I only bought one. I'm pretty sure Alex will be the only one that will eat this. But when I open each day, I will give one to Alex and then I'll give uh, Wellington one of his treats that he enjoys. These were like $3.97, which I thought was a great deal. The one that I got from them a couple years ago from Aldi was gross. They wouldn't touch it and neither would the dog. And the dog one was the same as the cat one. So there's that. Okay, some of the stuff I may have shown you already, but I'm not sure, so I'm gonna show you again. Um, I got tissue paper. I love tissue paper for wrapping presents. And I love this red and this peach and this white color. Um, these come in a pack of 15 sheets for a dollar. So really right up there with the Dollar Tree. And then I got this one. I love this green. I just am really digging this combo for Christmas. So I grabbed that. And then I got a couple gift bag sets. So this one has the black and white of Santa and then just the Buffalo check. And these were a dollar as well. So again, better than the Dollar Tree because it's a $1.25. Um, and then I grabbed some of the green with the stamp. And then this is a sideways bag and it has the green trees and it says season's greetings. And this was also a dollar. So in my mind, it's a better deal but it would all depend on your mind and what you think. Okay, and I'm starting to think I did show this to you, but for those of you who didn't see, um, for my little shelf in my kitchen, I got these Santa hats, reindeer carrots, and cookies for Santa. And they just come in these little jars with the cork. I'm assuming, nope, I would be wrong. I was thinking you could get them out of the jar, maybe the Santa hat, but I don't, I don't think, I don't think, but maybe, but I wouldn't take them out anyway. And then they have the little tags and these were a dollar. So I thought that would be, ooh, $3, I'm sorry, $3. And then I got some package toppers, ornaments, whatever you wanna call them. That hurt. Um, I got this one, which I thought was adorable. This will be for my kitchen. I do my kitchen in gingerbread, or I have been the last couple of years. And it's on a little metal, a little metal tray, which I love. Um, this will probably go in my little shadow box. It's just, girl, what are you into? A little wooden truck with the tree on it. I will tell you, get these things fast because they go. They are out already. Um, and this is just an ornament or it's going to be a package topper for me. And then the person can use it. And I may put like two from and the same with this. So they're plain, but you could take like a Sharpie or if you have a Cricut, which is what I'll do. And I'll put two from Christmas 2022 or just their name and the year. And then they can use them as ornaments. And the same with this one, although it does say ho, ho, ho on the front. It's plain on the back. So they're ornament toppers or package toppers, gift toppers is what they're calling them. And they had a bunch of different ones. I just grabbed those three to share with you. I got for my bedroom, 
This is, I don't know how tall it is, a 30 inch pre-attached branches for easy setup, plastic stand, flame resistant, indoor use only. It is not pre-lit. Christmas tree and it was $5. They also have these at five below in four feet. I don't know how many inches 30 is, but I don't think it's quite four feet. But I wanted this for my bedroom on my dresser. So I think this is the perfect height for that. Um, and I think I might just light it. I may not even put ornaments on it. Um, I will tell you the flocking is going everywhere. Okay, we got to reach. I have a reach here, kids. I have to reach. Um, the good thing about being down here in the basement is I can leave the Christmas stuff down here because behind this wall is where I store my Christmas stuff. Um, oh, I got something that's not Christmas. Well, I mean, it's winter, but it's not Christmas. I love it. It was $35. And it is a little cropped, but it's so boxy that wearing it with some, like, baggy jeans, I don't feel like, and I'd wear a black tank top under it. And it's just a boxy, oversized sweater. It was $35. I don't know if I'm showing it properly to you. And I love the detail on the arm with the pearl stitches that make it like textured, a ribbing, and then a nice high collar. It's going to be perfect for winter, especially if I'm like outdoors doing some fun activity. Um, it is boxed. It is short. So for me, especially with a long torso, um... I'm going to have to wear something under it, just for warmth, if anything. I'm going to do a, a long reach. <laughs> okay, and I think that was the only, like, non christmassy thing. I think. We'll see. Um, I found these as well, which is gingerbread garland for my kitchen. These were $3, and it's literally just junk garland. So you can make these as long or short as you want. It's just on some baker's twine, so if I wanted to hang it in more than one place, I could totally cut the baker's twine and make two small garlands out of this or one big one. But I thought that would look perfect in my kitchen. Oh, there is one thing. I got uh, this little Burt's Bees outfit. It was half price. It was regularly $15. I got it for $7.50. I'm pretty sure this is gender neutral. Well, I'm calling it gender neutral for a baby that we don't know what the gender is. Um, and I'm not sure if she's going to find out. but And it has the little mitten hands. It is so soft. Think Carter's. So right now, they're having a lot of these sleepers and stuff on clearance. So if you are buying for any babies um, or kids or adults, really... They have it kind of hard to find just plain gender neutral, but I think that one fits the bill. Okay, back to the dollar spot or Bullseye's Playground. I grabbed some of this, which is chenille. This is just plain white chenille. I don't know if I'm going to use it for gift wrapping or if I'm going to use it for finishing cross stitch patterns because chenille is pretty cool for that. So I just grabbed that. I think it's like a yard if I had to guess. Oh, it's four yards. Lovely. Of white chenille. And then look at this. This is definitely for gift wrapping. And it's 16.1 um, yards of tinsel. It could go on a tr Christmas tree. Like I could put it on that big tree if I wanted to. Just to give it some dimension. I could decorate my Christmas tree with chenille too if I wanted. We'll see what happens. I might use this as like um, garland on the Christmas tree. Because it's just trim. You could do anything you want with it. But I thought that would be kind of fun. I really want the tree to be pretty much just white in my bedroom. So I just grabbed those. They also had some baker's twine, which is lovely. Now, I don't need any of these. Well, I do need dish soap. But I'm obsessed with Mrs. Myers, to be quite frank. I love her these cleaning products. And this happens to be peppermint. And who does not need peppermint cleaning spray in Christmas time? I do. And one of these will probably last me two years in December. I'll put it away after um, Christmas and probably pull it out again next year. So this is peppermint and it smells really good. And then I got the matching dish soap. 
in peppermint, but I also got the pine, which I love both of these. Now, if you're new to Mrs. Myers, it's all natural. Oh, it smells so good. It's all natural cleaning product. Now the dish soap is kind of watery or thinner than like a Dawn, but I don't, I mean, I hand wash dishes to put them in the dishwasher. I'm that person. And so these are fine for me. And they also work great on, um, if you have a pump, like I fill these in a glass pump and I have found that the Dawn is so thick that it leaks out the sides when I'm pumping because it's so viscous, it leaks. And this does not. So I, and I don't mind this at all. So I grabbed two of those and one of those. They're not cheap. Uh, I believe the dish soap right now is $5 and I think that's the same for the spray. Don't quote me, I'm, well, I'll not look at my receipt. Yeah, they were $4.99, all of them. And they used to be $349, but with the economy going the direction it is, everything is going up in price. So this is definitely a treat. I have plenty of cleaning product. I buy a lot at the Dollar Tree, but um, for a treat for Christmas, I did splurge a little. All right, back to some gift wrap. I bought these two. So this is just craft paper with the green tree stamp, like the bag, and this is craft paper with red and white stripes. So it all goes together with the, um, the bags and the tissue that I purchased. I don't have a ton of gifts to wrap, um, but this is a good size for your smaller stuff. So, and I grabbed one more because it had coffees on it, but it also goes, but I think this is a little more fun. This is pink and these are great. You, it's 18 square feet. So it's 17 inches by 12 and a half feet but they're only a dollar, um, so I like it. And they're decent quality. And for smaller items, like I say, they are perfect. And then I just have a few more things. Oh, I found this. And I don't know what I'm gonna stick in here, but um, if you remember, they were carrying the gumball machines. Well, now they have, it's a, it's a toboggan. And something will stand in the middle of this. I'm not sure what yet. I'm thinking like a big snowflake, like a blue snowflake from the Dollar Tree um, could sit in the middle. And this could stay over winter. This is definitely not strictly a Christmas decor piece. And it may not even come out until like January. So I grabbed that. It is glass. And they also came out this year with the gumball machines in solid clear, like all clear. Like people were trying to take the paint off of them. And so they just created clear ones and put them out. But I liked this one. They also had glass Christmas bulbs, but I thought my cats would break that. This is a little, this, the base is much more sturdy. So I got that. Oh, I have a couple little things from Hobby Lobby I can show you. Oh, I, they had a new sleigh out this year. Now, this would be perfect just to hang up. You could put something on it. But think about on your buffet table, like just sitting it out with maybe some, a bowl of nuts or a cheese tray or something small and just sit it on the table for some height. I think that's what I got it for, for display, for decor, like on my dining room table when I have Christmas. I think we're going to do buffet style, like finger foods. And this is perfect. And all my stuff is white and it will just sit. And this is actually a little higher. I'm really loving the, the quality of this this year. And it is a hanging decor piece. So you could just hang it on your wall. And it was $5. Um, oh, for, this is children's. I know it's children's, but it's going in my tear tray. And it was $3. And it comes with some stickers. And, oh, we can just take it out. I won't, I won't use the mailing stuff. But if you had littles... I think this is perfect to, um, it's letter, you know, let them write their letter to Santa and they can drop it in this mail, special mailbox and maybe your elf then will take it off if you have an elf on a show. Ma'am, hi. Oh, you found your toy. Okay, she found her toy. So it's, it's a little wooden piece. Now, be careful. I've seen some that were broken on the sides. People were being very rough with them. And then the back comes off like this and that's where all of your stuff is so I'll show you and I'll probably use it for my planner but I'm putting this just in my in my tear tray but it's a functioning working 
do da and you get a letter so you get three stickers three pieces of paper and three tiny little envelopes to mail your letter to santa so your little ones could write their list and this will fit well when the plastic isn't on it it will go down into the mailbox so maybe what I will do is put one letter out, address to Santa, and just stick it in my tray. Um, you know, just an envelope. And then it all, if you don't use it all the first year, or you can make some more cards. And then you can just stick it in the back and send it on its merry way to Santa. I love it. I love mailboxes, and I think that is perfect for a tiered tray. Okay, what do we got going on in here? I have trash that I just put in there. Oh, so I do, I know I showed you these, but I got the whole set. And this probably might end up in my tear tray or on my mantle, but I got all three of the Nutcrackers in this fun green, red, and then white and gold. They could also go on my dining room table when I set out my um, my charcuterie finger foods I could put these out as decor but I got all three I mean they would look adorable too so you have your little tray sitting out with whatever and you could just sit him here and then a bowl of nuts like how so easy like done done and done they just make decorating so easy and those four three dollars a piece yeah, these are $3 a piece. If I only had to get one, it would be this white and gold because I'm obsessed with white, apparently. Um, let me get the rest of the stuff out of here. Okay, for my shadow box, I got three of these little trees. This is, they're like ceramic and this has some like felt over it so it's fuzzy. And then this one obviously is painted shiny gold and white. And I have a little shadow box that these three will go in. But again, they could go on a dining room table. You could use them as decor. I mean, there's a million things you could do with these little trees and they come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, I kind of am obsessed with these. And they did come in the matching green and red that go with the nutcrackers. And then obviously the white and gold. Um, this The only thing with this lint sticks to it it feels like a lint roller that texture so i grabbed that um they had a bunch of rubber stamps so i got one that's to and from so i can make my own um gift tags for packaging and then i think i got a couple more one that says don't peek until christmas they're upstairs in my craft room already these are fun um i've had these from the dollar spot before and they also sell the ink pads but i have ink pads so I got that. Um, and then this little kit here is a craft to make. Oh, come on. Come on. To make your own garland. There we go. And it has all the pieces and you can paint them. They're all little wooden pieces and you paint them and then string them up. So that'll be fun little project. I just got one of these and they are $3 a piece. So I grabbed that. And then the last thing I got is this, and it's to hold Christmas cards. So if you get a special card and you want to display it, it will stand up in here. They have Mary and they have Fa La La, but I liked this one. Or if you had like your family's Christmas picture done or your children's Christmas picture, you can stand it up in here. So it works. I don't know if I have anything I can display currently. And I have a receipt. I don't know how exciting that will be, but I'm going to put it in here and see. The, the, the groove is definitely big enough for Christmas cards, but it will stand up on its own. How fun is that? I think that is fantastic. I love the minimalist feel of it. Or again, if you're doing a Christmas buffet, you can put your menu up on here. Just type, print it out on some cardstock and sit it up. That would be pretty awesome as well. So, oh, and then the last things I got, that's it from Target. I ran into Hobby Lobby literally just for a couple of things, but they have these little Christmas um, paper stacks 
And these are the six by six. And I went with the vintage. And I just use these as accents when I'm decorating. And they were $5. Yeah, $5.99. And they were half price. So I got it. Ooh, I got it for $3, which I thought was pretty good. And then for my planner, just some Christmas stickers. I was running out of like happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Just some words and hat to put in my planner for the next cute few years. And then this is killing me. These are supposed to be little ornaments, but they're framed pictures of Christmas cats. I don't know what's gonna happen to this other than it makes me incredibly happy to just look at it. So we'll see what this becomes. I mean, they are ornaments, so I could put them on the tree in my bedroom. I could go buy a couple more packages of them and hang them on my tree in my bedroom. And those were half price, so they were $2. So that's all I got at Hobby Lobby. I try not to shop there too terribly much, but sometimes it's the only place to get the things that I need. So that is everything I have purchased so far at Target for Christmas. They are obviously bringing stuff out very early this year. Oh, I have to assume that part of the reason is... They were having supply issues last year, and maybe some of the stuff that I'm seeing is back stock from last year. I don't really know. I'm putting everything back in its box. So I have one more video to create. I don't really know the reason why they're coming out so early with all the Christmas stuff this year, but it seems like a lot of stores are doing that. Hence, you'll see my um, Marshall TJ Maxx haul here in a minute. So I hope you enjoy, and I will talk with you later. Bye.